so we're not gonna have the same problem we did before. So, I'm just gonna do the two bead process to show you guys. It's a beautiful color. Next week, I'll, I'll be getting some not polished um, powders. And if you guys are on the fence of buying that brand, um, I've they contacted me and they'll be sending me some of their stuff and I'll be able to show you guys on live how to use it and the quality of the product before you guys buy it. And I'll be able to give you guys a little bit of a code to save some money. Just remember why I wasn't promoting products before is because I wanted the girls to start using certain things on their own first. Up. The more even I, I applicate, the easier for me later. Always look at side view. Sometimes with these colors, you never know where you're missing. When you lean to the side, you'll see the, the missing gaps what you need to put in. So we're going to skip that finger, that's going to be our design finger. I use, I can do one bead, but I use two beads in my videos just to show the girls the technique so that they can, for people that are newer, that want more even, you know, application, they can use this technique. Um, you don't have to jump into nails and do one beads, okay? That's not how that works. Definitely using the wrong liquid right now. Bouncing a little bit. I want the wrong liquid. I'm gonna use a, a little bit fast dryer for this one. One's fast drying, one's not. This one gives me a tiny little bit more time. You guys see the difference? I was using the other one earlier for ombre, and plus I don't want. I already used this with this color earlier, so I don't want to contaminate the other liquid. No shame in the two bead process, guys. Or three, or four. Just make sure you get there. You can start at four, you can upgrade yourself to three. You start at three, upgrade yourself to two. And you wanna, you know, try your hand at one beads, go for it. What powders, for record, Okay, if you're a beginner, you need to just buy regular acrylic, regular monomer, and that's what you're gonna be doing. And you're gonna be doing sets of regular, then you're gonna be polishing, you're gonna be pressing your your um, shaping. That's it, if you're a beginner, you don't know what you're doing, that's it. Regular acrylic, get yourself some polish, practice your polishing, okay? Don't think you're gonna to skip to color powder and you don't have to worry about polishing. That's not how that works. Hey, Dawet. Thank you. Yeah, it's really pretty color. Yeah. So I'm a little more relaxed today. So you guys feel free to ask questions. I'll, I'll tune in. Um, this is my last one of the night. Feel free to talk in the chat, you know? A lot of the girls, who, who's new here? Is it, who is this your first time in, in this live? If you 
this is your first time, raise your hands. I want to see it. A lot of new people. Welcome, guys. If you're new here, this is where we learn. I am the nail dad. If you're new at nails, I'll lecture you, I'll teach you. And I'll be straight up with you. Like my Facebook, I go live pretty often so you don't miss out. There's a lot of fun sets. All my videos are downloaded on Facebook and YouTube. You get to, so you, you can catch some of the old sets. And you have any questions, just ask. A lot of the girls in here have been here since day one. So they can answer certain easy, simple questions for you. I appreciate you guys tuning in. And here I'll show you guys how to do nails from beginning to end. Generally most sets will be in under an hour. Um, but sometimes when I do some crazy designs, I might be finished with the set, but I might take a little bit longer. Which a lot of people get committed to and they stay anyway for the set. And if you're new here, let me know where you're watching from. This helps me get a general demographic so I can set up my streams to that time zone so everybody gets a chance to see it. If you like what you see, just drop me a follow on face on Instagram. You get to see more of my work. THUC. Huh? THUC. So we're gonna actually bust out our lovely nude for this one. And then use a nice blue also. Texas, Kansas, Texas, 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 Maine, Maine. All the way there. How did I met? Uh, you master it by practicing. That's all I can tell you. You master something by practicing it. I'm using this as a nude base a little bit to cover up the nail line. Later I'm gonna throw some of this blue on there and some of this pink on there. And I wanna put a design art design right on top. Hmm? Yeah, you 
just get just get a hot pink or something. Or a blue. Excuse you. Don't don't those meals me. Certification is just um you guys understand certification is just basically saying that you've learned it from somewhere. I just teach my classes right now. I'm not just for whoever needs it. Um, you have a certification doesn't mean that you're licensed. I, I think a lot of girls that message me, they get confused or they understand what certification is. It's basically like, let's say the person, put, make, they make, they print their own and like, okay, you certified, like you, you learn from them, that's it. Doesn't mean that you're like licensed to work somewhere or something like that. So don't get confused with that, okay guys? Um, a few of my girls just take classes from me. They they learn from me and you know I keep track of their work and I make sure they they stay the right path so their work is basically shows my certification that they've learned from me I take pride in what I teach so I always keep up with them We're gonna put some gold foil in there, encapsulate some gold. So I'm going to take some gold, just break into tiny pieces. Hey everybody, it's a little fun set, last set. I'm going to do some powder marbling kind of. This is just, I'm setting up a basis because later I'm going to be doing designs over it. So that's like a background a little bit. So I'm just going to add a little bit of gold in here in the background. We're going to encapsulate this. So. Man, we don't want too much of this. It's just like a, an afterthought. I got just less is more. If you put too much gold here. It takes attention away from everything else that's going to be going on later. So we try to do it just as minimal as possible. Later on, you'll see the gold through the design, but you won't. It won't be just like all gold. Hey! Oh my God! Low on God, man. How are you? Big boy. I remember you. Okay. So. Yeah, and someone I too. So remember, less is more, okay, guys? Just, just a little bit. Remember, we're encapsulating this, and then we're gonna put the design right on top of this. Switch it back and forth. I'm just gonna hit this up a little bit more. Okay. 
came out early, I did really thin because we're gonna encapsulate this, okay? Clear acrylic, nothing special about it. It's just an acrylic that's clear. We make sure we use and we don't get too many bubbles in this. Welcome to those who just joined. This is your first time. Welcome to the channel. We're just doing a simple, nice encapsulation with designs. If it's your first time, you hit follow my Facebook and you can get all the notifications whenever I go live. I do do some really fun stuff. The video will be saved and uploaded on YouTube when I'm done. Hopefully, in the night, like you can always watch it on my Facebook. It's gonna be saved on my Facebook also. So we're just encapsulating now, and then we're gonna go through shaping, drilling. And you guys see why I put the nude down earlier? It's so I can cover that nail line. If I want to just do the purple and the blue on the side like that, later on you see that nail line and you see it through underneath. Finish with that. I should use this to clean our brush. Actually, this brush took a beating the last two days because I've been using so much color powder. Remember, color powder will stick more to the brush than regular acrylic. So when you're working with color powder a lot, definitely be careful. Thank you, ladies, for answering the questions. You know, I'm a little busy sometimes, but... Holland. I'm gonna drop my IG. If you guys wanna see more of my work, I appreciate the support. Yeah, like I said, today is more of an easier day for me. Um, don't have anything afterwards. But look how beautiful this is already, guys. See the colors? Then I'm gonna put some um, olive branch designs, crisscross. So now we're gonna go in another shape. Just a slight coffin. We don't want too coffin. Sometimes we, it's the client's preference, you know? Especially this client, she's a little bit, she a hard one. Lines. Bella, and check. Back here, yeah, pedicure before 30, right? Check my hang. So we're just doing a little bit, just a rough file. We don't want to go too much into it. Because like I said, I always go back into it later on after I drill. When you drill, you're going to lose the shape a little bit. So don't spend too much time here. You'll cut down on your set. This just gives you like a, a nice guideline of what your shape's going to be like. See if there's any crookedness. Um, you'll be able to, you know, drill, do the cube work, thin it out a little bit. Then go back in and do the shape. This is very pretty. This is like Carnival. 
Look at this color, guys. Can you believe it? So we got like a rough, rough draft of the shape. Definitely gonna go back through this again, but I'm gonna use the rest of that time later when I shape. Hand up, you can tell you can make size adjustments too. Usually, sometimes the powder gets at the end of the tip and it gets a little bit longer while you put the powder on. But we're gonna go into the drilling. This is gonna be cuticles. Remember, when you, when you your application was good, you just need a quick rough, okay? You don't have to drill too much. Christine. I use 8080. 100 100 is good. 8000 is also good. use a little more clear on this. I'm gonna put a little more clear on it later. This is your tutorial, Yumi. You look at it right here. This is your tutorial. What do you need a tutorial for? This is, every live you watch, it's a tutorial for you. I might not be able to, the benefits of my online classes get is they get to see, I get to see them work and make adjustments for them the other way around. That's why they, they get special time one-on-one -on -one with me. But when you're watching these, you're watching me do the cuticle. This is your tutorial. You're watching it right now. I do the same thing every time. Nothing changes. Same routine, every set I do. This is why the girls take me online, they pay for it because they know I get to watch them and how they work and direct them and guide them and they'll know exactly what to make changes. 
But like I said, it's always different when you're watching me work than when I'm watching you work. This is gonna be so pretty on this. The white olive branch, black olive branch going up and down. Oh my goodness. This set I already feel is gonna be a cute one. So the original picture, I kind of changed. Um, I changed some stuff a little bit. So in the original picture, they use like thick blots. I like nice and smooth. I think I think it it looks looks better that way. Um, actually, this one's fine. Put a little play on that later. Clear moved a little bit. You're unsure if something's smooth or not. Use your fingers. You'll know where the groove is that you need to work on. I you know the price for extra long nails? Um, depends. Most, you just pretty much send me an IG, drop me the picture and I'll let you know the pricing. It could be a variety when you, you know, your long might not be considered long with me or your, your long might be considered extra long, so I wouldn't know. I usually have new girls, I just have them send me a picture of what they like, and then I can give them pricing from, from that point. Hello. Okay, so I'm gonna finish up the drilling and I'm gonna reshape, refile a little bit, um, check out the lanes. Now we're gonna finish up our coffin. Thank you. 
Oh, I, I got a lot. Of, I read a lot of comments of girls asking um, how do clients do refills because I didn't put a clear on. Um, there's two ways of doing this. Like I know a lot of girls, they put like the clear on the base, and then when the clients come back, and then they they drill up all the color and put another color on. I'm be honest, like I don't like doing it that way. Like most of my clients, their nails they go for like a good month, two months anyway, so they don't really get a fill. So they can get a set when they come back every time. I just think like to go through the process of filing off every nail, all that color to take it off and redo, it's just so much work. Um, the time it'll take, if you, if, you, if you really like put a price on your time for you to do that, it would cost almost as much as them could do in another set. So I don't see a point of doing that. But, there, but like I said, there are people that do it and that's their style and they like doing that. Um, that's fine too, but I don't like the drilling of all the color every time type of deal. Um, usually if the client wants to do another design, we'll find something that we can paint over. And from there, we, we, we can figure out what design we want to do. We paint over it and then they can, they can get their design again, you know? Um, but that's, that's how, and don't get me wrong, the doing the base acrylic, and then putting color on and drilling off, it works. It just, it's, it's just messy for me, I feel like. And it's tiring to, just, to drill off a whole whole base color on every 10 nails. It's, it's a lot of work. <laughs> I'd rather soak the nails off or clip them or, or, they, or they're already off and then do a new set, you know? Because you, you gotta press in your time, you know? Like, how, how much is your time worth? Yeah, to, that's to answer that question. And I don't want you to get confused. This, this, like I said, everybody's got their own unique style of doing things and how they do it for their clients. And for my clients, that's how I do it. And then they like it like that. So it could be different for everybody, to be honest. That's like a personal preference for the, the tech. So we clean up the shape. It's pretty cute so far. It reminds me of like a Dominican, like, Republic look. Definitely something you want to go to Jamaica with on a cruise. Or clean up on the bottom, get that nice C shape. Yeah, if you were willing to wait, we have a little bit of weight. We have a little bit of weight, you willing to wait? <laughs> you agree? Okay, yeah, like I said, um, it's, it's not about who's right, who's wrong, it's how easy it is for you to maintain the clients. For me, I, the less dust, the less drill work. Sometimes it, it actually heats up the nails, and it, it's a lot of work to drill all that off. And I, and the, I do see some girls that stick their style and that's how they do it. So it was like, yeah. But 
Like I said, it doesn't mean that um, it's there's a wrong right way to do it. Okay, guys. Yeah. And I said this before for a lot of you girls. Don't throw out your old white and black polishes. You can also reuse that for art designs. It works very well. Like the older the polish, it gets a little bit thicker, so then you're able to use it. See, this is an old bottle, so I, I'm able to just use it. Don't chuck them out. They're great. This way and that way. Yeah, let me see it. Why you laugh like that? Like, this is not no telenovela, like, you got that evil Spanish laugh. I don't, I don't like that. You want to do it? Just... Okay, down and up. Yeah, oh. Two ways. Yeah, two ways, don't worry. Let me see that again. What kind of leaf is that? I can't picture it. Oh, okay, okay, okay. It's okay to make boo-boos. a while but figure out how to do these goddamn petals. Sometimes you overthink it. You know I always say in my videos don't overthink the design. I was overthinking it. It's a little bit hard. I made it hard for myself. But these leaves are very simple. I was thinking being too perfect. Larry does a dab. Can you drag? See that? So 
stem you want to do just very thin and you just want to dab right the dot there and start creating the petals it gets smaller as it comes out See how simple that is? I was so over here overthinking it. Very simple design, very, very easy. Overthinking it, made it worse for me, but see how simple it is once you catch yourself. Now we're gonna do it with black. You don't need that anymore. Excuse you. Ain't this pretty, guys? You see how earlier we didn't do too much of the gold? I said the gold is just gonna be an afterthought. This is gonna be the base. We do too much of the gold, it just throws away. Pretty, right? See the see how I'm, I messed that up so hardcore earlier. But when you do it now, not everything's gonna go your way. You gotta have the ability to recover. Collect yourself, recover. Like I always tell you, here comes another nail dad moment. You know. Think calmly, don't get frustrated, and you'll get through. And when you do get through the, these hard things, you'll you'll be a lot more confident in yourself next time. 
a way a lot more confident. top coat bring out that under fire color this will bring out our gold Do you see that see that gold it's just there this enough not too much we don't want to distract it from the welcome anybody who's new to the channel like the Facebook to see notifications right away if you don't have time, stop by and say hi. Everybody in the chat is friendly, I hope. If they want to get time out from now, Dad. I read the comments, don't think I don't. Caliente. Right? Speaking your language? Mm. Mm? Don't mean on those meals all day. <laughs> now get your nails. So he stayed throughout the whole thing. We have finished. And that was actually not too bad. We had a little problem with with the um the leaf because I overthought it and I just try to make it more than what it should be. Sometimes the simplest things end up being the hardest things for some people. Because they they challenge themselves a little bit more. Hey, I'm gonna go I'm gonna show you guys the overview. Where's my cuticle oil? Like always, I wipe the cuticle oil off. And I'll explain a little bit what we did with the design. So you guys are understand what goes into these designs. And another thing is you gotta understand how these designs are done. So when you see a picture, you will know exactly what needs to be done. So what we did was, um, we did a nude as a base. And then I marble, well not marble, just slap some color, just get some like, you know, abstract colors in there. Um, the nude covers the nail line. We put gold into it, not too much, encapsulate it with clear. Then we did the gel polish right on top of the top coat. And that's how it's done. good to know that stuff because then you you can understand when you see people do things what is done there and I'm gonna show you guys an overview I appreciate you guys watching if you're new welcome if you're old thank you for coming back like on Facebook follow my Instagram for more of my work and here we are I'm gonna give you guys some lighting and we are looking good 
very nice, simple but classy, fun, bright set. With the leaf. There you go. Let's get the front view. Everybody enjoys so much. The colors go really well together. The blue, just a hint of blue. The nude, the bright colors. The gold actually adds a lot to it. If you can see, you go closer, the gold's actually right, right in the bottom of it. So like, that's why I told you not to put too much gold. Because you put so much gold on here, these branches are gonna be an afterthought for you. And you want everything to complement each other, not be too loud and overwhelm each other. This is a very nice, solid set um, you can do client will be happy if you can produce something like this close shaping of course based up on the client's nail bed with and yeah thank you for tuning in this is the last one for me tonight uh, i'm off tomorrow i have all my classes on mondays so i'll see you guys tuesday i do have a nice fun set on wednesday it's going to be a chanel a timeless chanel set long stiletto just the way you guys like it tuesday wednesday night and follow my Facebook to see my live schedules. And when I go no notification live, I'm gonna drop my Instagram again. I appreciate you guys for the support. Follow me, see more of my work. And next week we get to, we got some products from Not Polished getting sent in. And I'll show you guys exactly how to use those products. And you're gonna be able to master the application, master that shaping. And you get to see me use it, and I'll show you exactly how to use it so you get the same consistency as me. Um, I'll tell you exactly what type of monitor to use it with. So one last look before we sign out. Thank you guys for joining. Bye, nail dad out. Didn't lecture you guys too much on this one. Okay.